Coming up on the Thursday night teams edition of the AFL Today Show, round 10 preview. It's massive. Leo, what are you looking forward to most this week? A shootout between North and Essendon. I love it. Stats boy? Uh, just doing something else on Saturday night instead of watching the footy. What Jeez. are you going to do? Oh, I'll go out for some drinks or something. I must see you. Go out. on a date. Yeah. yeah just got to get some mates first. <laughs> oh, wow. I've got some pretty big calls. I don't like this idea of the Sydney Carlton matchup. But either way, it's all broken down every single game for this weekend in today's AFL Today Show. You better get around it right now. Friday, my beloved Carlton travel to Sydney where they do not win. No, they uh, don't at really, all. Yeah. The Swans are 13 and a half point favourites. That's top of the ladder, Sydney Swans. If you haven't heard, nobody talks about them and a lot of people wins about how us. no one talks about them while talking about them. Do, they don't seem to see the irony <laughs> about this. Sydney are fantastic, but I think Alex's point that he made yesterday and so we had Lachlan McCurdy from Coast Sports yep. on yesterday's show yep. as well. It is hilarious how like everything down here is like, Essendon are back! <laughs> it's like they're third. Yeah. Sydney are on top of the ladder, eight and one. And There's a lot of Sydney fans in Melbourne teams. as well. You've got South Melbourne, obviously, yep. yeah. Uh, the over-under in this one's 170.5. SCG tomorrow night. Carlton do not win there. They last won in 2019. They've lost nine of the last 10 there. They really hate going there. I've got a big uh, group of Carlton mates that are actually going there. So Gross. they're like, I'll be like, what, you want to see another loss there? What are you doing? <laughs> would be pretty it? fun. Hey, kids, want to see a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what it is. Because... Uh, Look, very similar to how Carlton play Melbourne and they've never beaten them in my lifetime, I think. Uh, the same thing goes for Carlton and Sydney. Like They beat them there in 2019. Aside from that, I think the last time they beat them there was 1982. So, <laughs> so maybe, before, maybe. before maybe. I was born. Yeah. There we go. Uh, it is crazy. Like Carlton, Sydney, last year was the absolute nadir of the Carlton season, essentially. Started with the Sydney loss, probably finished at that Essendon loss, King's birthday weekend, so exactly yep. around this time. It feels like... A, like this could be an absolute walloping of Carlton um, because let's do some teams. Yes. Sydney, in comes Braden Campbell. Matt Roberts goes out. Like for like replacement there, I reckon. Checks out. It's not too bad, yeah. For Carlton, the walking wounded. They lose Lockie Cowan. Moo! Cotters is out as well, my fellow ginger. Adam Chera. What a surprise twist. Oh, he injured. always is injured. And, and Jack, Jack Mark. Mark. He's always injured as well. It's a crisis at Carlton. It's a crisis. What are they doing it's there? It's pretty good rubber, I'm just saying. Uh, it was all right. It, point <laughs> the <moon>. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? That's my, that's the, my uh, rubber impression. <laughs> the Carlton soft tissue injuries, this is actually becoming a legitimate real concern mm. where week on week there's training mishaps and problems at training. Training a, too hard. A, do Don't maybe, train, maybe. Do we maybe need to fix like on park and that grass a little bit? Maybe we'll know. send Matt Rowell, the grass specialist. <laughs> he just eat a bit. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's off, boys. It's off. <laughs> boys. I'll show you this. Oh. There's a hint of turmeric about this. Right? Come on. Uh, in comes Caleb Marchbank, which is pretty good. Zach Williams, which is just a roll of the dice, if you ask me. It's like, we've got lots of injuries. Who are we relying on? Zach Williams. Jack Carroll's here. That's perfect for Supercoach. I just realised that, that he's still on my bench. <laughs> How do you still have Jack Carroll? Oh, no. A bit sad. Don't worry about it. Right. Orazio <laughs> Fantasia as well. Yeah, that's not a good in. He's been it is horrible. a tough one. So the only upside, I guess, for Carlton in this game is the fact that you do have Harry Mackay and Charlie Curno against the Swans back line that it would be missing Tom McCartan. Mm-hmm. So yep. it is a little bit light on, but they still have Dane Rampey, Nick Blakey. It's, you know, flashbacks to last year of just the lizard just storming off the halfback flank, just Scaring. dissecting, mm. dissecting the Carlton midfield time and time again. Um, the big question here is: Could the Blues <laughs> injured twenty two? You can actually basically build a Carlton team out of their injured players at this point. I don't think you could. Just about, <laughs> would they beat North? I'm just saying. Oh, I, I I am a North supporter, obviously. I'm going to say no. But there is a lot of big outs. They're not going to beat. No, definitely oh, not. There's no. so no, Jack just, Martin. Chera. Sard, Chera. Chera. Uh, Doherty. Where's the key I, forwards? I where's the key back? Fogarty. Who's kicking goals, yeah. Fogarty's going to kick eight. <laughs> Fogarty's smaller than Sarah. Super will kick 10 and we'd win by 80. That'd be interesting. Anyway. No, it would be actually pretty close. I'd admit No, that. it wouldn't. It wouldn't. <laughs> we are Let's really be bad. serious. All right, that's really enough cult talk. We need to talk about Sydney, remember, because they have yes. beaten Melbourne, yes. Collingwood, Essendon, and GWS already. This is another top eight team that they're playing. They're fine. I don't think Carlton will be top eight for long after this game because I believe Sydney are going to absolutely smash my beloved Blues. It breaks my heart, but also that's how it goes. I think <laughs> we're going to go to Sydney. It's going to be a grind. Carlton are going to look all out of shape, all out of sorts. And I don't think Charlie and Harry will get off the leash at all, even okay. without McCartan. And I think the Swans win it by 62. 62. That I is think the is abs- reverse mock if I've ever seen it. I know. <laughs> no, they're going to win by 62. No, they're definitely not. I don't think they're going to win no. by 62. I think they <laughs> are how, in how for they get, a, that's a bit, I know they've got lots of outs, but surely they keep it closer than 62. 
I think it gets ugly real quick. We saw, so you think about the Sydney Essendon game earlier this year and now it just like Sydney just piled it on mm. and they piled it's it on five really goals, quickly. Though. It's just like, I think that could happen pretty quickly too. So. Okay. Stats boy? Uh, I'm going Swans by 22. I think, 22. I think they'll uh, be up by that sort of margin all the way through and you're like, Swans won this pretty comfortably, but it didn't blow out because you still got a decent team. Carlton, so. Yeah, it'll be competitive. Like, yeah. Carlton have a, still a very strong side and they just love a close game. Yeah, they do. Knows. Yeah, I feel like we use that every Thursday night show. Can't love a close game. But they do. Every, <laughs> every week they're playing really close games. I think we'll have the, uh, if we had the heart monitor on me this week, I'd just be like, eight tins deep, just can't, <laughs> do not care, we're getting smashed. Why is it this heart monitor not working? It's just, <laughs> why have we got the Paramount <laughs> Plus subscription? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's gone to sleep. Uh, if you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on, do it now. Do it. <laughs>